I was out with a, a group of friends, there were seven or eight of us and three dogs. Diggory was in a, a field uh, adjoining the track we were on. Suddenly we noticed he wasn't there. A bit after that, after more shouting, a couple of my friends went into the field and they found uh, Diggory lying flat on the ground uh, beside a metal cattle trough. Being a spaniel had had his nose to the ground and basically gone careering into the trough which was covered with grass and not seen it and had caused himself severe cervical trauma. We got our neurology team to assess him um, so that they could sort of confirm our suspicion that he had essentially paralysis with compromise of his respiratory muscles. Diggory was that ill that his basic functions were not um, that stable. And this is when I speak about basic functions, his breathing and um, his ability to eat and absolutely as well with what he had his ability to move around. Our main role was to help him with his breathing um, while he recovered, so he was mechanically ventilated um, for quite a prolonged period of time. The reason why he needed the ventilation was not because he had any form of infection or any illness, but simply because the messages from the nerves were not going through to the muscles that facilitate breathing. As we felt that his respiratory um, sort of function was returning, we ended up placing a tracheostomy tube. This means it reduces the amount of effort that the lungs are actually going to use by taking out the space between the mouth and the neck. And we then use that for his ventilation. A lot of what we found in the investigations were odds against a potential recovery. We came to the conclusion with the team that if he didn't make a major step forward, that we were going to have to say goodbye to him. I was sitting on the sofa with James raging about the unfairness of it. Why doesn't he qualify for a miracle? We had one last try, one more treatment. Chris wanted to try one more medication to help try and encourage him to breathe on his own a bit more. And the next day we came, as we thought, to say goodbye. And there had been a miracle. I came in and he was still with us. And really, from then on, the journey was just in an upwards direction. This dog was a complete fighter. As he started to be able to breathe for himself and get stronger, they were then able to take the trackie out. We made him a cart um, with four wheels, they're called a quad cart. We realised there was something outside the four walls of intensive care. It just made such a difference. He's still got a long way to go, but he is definitely getting stronger and stronger. And we've just started him doing some hydrotherapy with us to further try and build up his strength in his back legs. And I really believe that this doggy is going to get back to actually being pretty much back to how he was before he even had his accident. A stronger, fitter, healthier dog who has defied all the odds and yeah, I just adore him. His family never gave up on him, uh, Diggory never gave up trying, but I'm really pleased to say that uh, the Ralph never gave up on him either um, and we're thrilled that he's made a recovery. Couldn't have been a, a better outcome and uh, now it's just a question of uh, thoroughly restoring his mobility which is uh, improving day by day.